So the question is, how do we farm in a way that produces enough food and doesn't destroy the world? Big question, eh? When we came to the farm, we had two things on the farm, monoculture, cereal, and grassland. When I started training in agriculture, it was all about just producing food, cheap, affordable food for a nation of people here that had come from, you know, not having enough after the second war. I'm Ian Wilkinson. I'm founder or co-founder with my wife, Celine, and director here at FarmEd. It's a demonstration farm. It's an educational center. We bring groups of people together here on the farm to talk about farming, the environment, wildlife, and food. What I see currently, and a lot of us in agriculture do see, is this linear system which is depleting our natural capital uh, in all shapes and forms. There is no more land. There are more people coming. Three billion, they say. So how do we farm in a way that produces enough food and doesn't destroy the world? For me, it starts with the soil, and to rebuild soils is the number one priority for any farmer. It's really simple. We rebuild it with plants. These plants are locking carbon into the soil, and we need to do more of that than depleting it. So we have a crop of wheat, which is farmed in exactly the same way that everybody else is farming wheat across the UK. And then we've contrasted it with a different farming system where there's a complex crop rotation. So we're rebuilding carbon stocks in the soil with pasture. And then we move into wheat and oat production without the use of fertilizers and the chemistry. Then we uh, undersow these with cover crops and we reintroduce animals grazing into the system as well. You can see there's actually quite a lot of carbon coming in the soil, which will make it more fertile as the years go on. Because we're growing lots of cover crops, because we've got pasture in the system, livestock in the system, you can see the difference in the soil. There's a quote that says, I think we've got 40 harvests left. Now that's quite dramatic, but you know, we never know what's going to come around the corner next year. As soon as there's diversity on top of the soil, diversity will happen in, in the soil. Each plant brings up different minerals from the soil, which is really important for these plants that the cows and sheep graze off. We can rebuild the system, we just have to invest in it. We wanted to be able to demonstrate the different things that you might do. So the agroforestry here and the fruit and veg production and the natural flood management and the introduction of livestock. These are things you might do if you're a farmer. But every farm will be different. Every soil type's different. You can't say, here's a blueprint for all soil types. In a way, that's why we're in the mess we're in. You think about the monocultures that we use across the world. The problem we have is that if we fragment a, 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 a factory farming system, we lose some of the economies of scale but we need to reinvent the way in which we integrate the, that, that diverse production into the supply chains. It's as simple as that. So the, the principles that we apply uh, here can be scaled up to 10,000 acres. We can grow on scale, but we need a market to sell to. Finances and return on investments are really important, but alongside it, we have to work within planetary boundaries. I am very hopeful, and I think the key is not just in policy from government, but also from green finance, because green finance is going to make a huge difference. You know, I wish I had two more careers ahead of me, I really do. You know, I'm just coming on the pitch for the second half right now, and I'm hopeful that I'll have a good second half, because I just think there's so much to do. There's so much to play for. We're not there in terms of tipping point in regenerative farming, because the amount of food that's produced under that banner is relatively low at the moment. But it's coming. There are thousands of farmers that you know, make it very clear that this is the direction they want to travel in. So to rebuild that, that whole system is now. But I'm, I am hopeful, absolutely. <laughs>